So what do we got in Kuma's Kitchen this week? Well, we've got cheesy chicken and rice burritos. I made a, like a whole batch of them and lots of cheese. Cheese inside, cheese on top. We make our own enchilada sauce. It's, if you don't like too spicy, this is perfect. Like for kids and stuff, this is really good. This is a very mild uh, burrito uh, with chicken, rice, and cheese, and a bit of sauce on the inside. And, mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, fantastic. Let's go and make some of these right now in the kitchen. All right, for our ingredients, we've got uh, two different sets of ingredients here. Up front here we have for the enchilada sauce we're gonna make, and then here is for making the burritos themselves. So first, let's go over the enchilada sauce ingredients. What I've got here is two tablespoons of olive oil. I've got two cloves of garlic crushed. I've got two tablespoons of chili powder. One cup of tomato sauce. Now, this is just a pasta sauce. It could be anything. I'm, I'm using uh, some marinara sauce I had. And then this here is one six ounce, you know, those small cans of tomato paste. That's going to thicken everything up nicely. Then over here for the uh, tortillas themselves. Well, what we've got in front here is we've got a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper three cloves of garlic thinly sliced, one and a half cups of cooked rice, which is now cooled down. Um, I've got my usual, I'm used, used of course, because I live in Japan, I use the uh, short grain sticky rice, but any rice will do for this. In fact, <laughs> any other rice will probably be even better because this stuff always sticks. Uh, just means I have to break it up more when I'm cooking. Over here, I've got a, about uh, 12 ounces, and, uh, chicken thighs are always going to be a little bit here, a little bit there. That's about 12 ounces or 340 grams of chicken, cooked chicken thigh, shredded, just shredded up with a fork. But like I say, because chicken thighs are different sizes, you might need a little bit more, a little bit less, it's fine, not going to make a big difference. Here for the cheese, I've got 14 ounces or 400 grams of cheddar cheese grated. I want lots of cheese. Remember, this is cheesy burritos. And then here I've got 10 tortillas. Now these are, I guess that would be about a little under an eight inch. Uh, I'm terrible at inches now. I've been working with metric for years. So um, I would say that looks a little bit more than a six inch, but... Uh, it's not a very, it's not a huge 10 inch one anyways. It's, a, it's about an eight inch tortilla. Anyway, about 10 of those. Whatever you get your hands on. First thing I do then is make the enchilada sauce itself. So I want to get that olive oil into my little, just going to use a small saucepan. Let's get that olive oil in there. All right. Might as well get that started heating right now. Bring that up on about a medium heat. And while that's heating, let's toss in the rest. So I'm going to toss in the uh, garlic. And the chili powder. And I'm going to cook that. Give a little stir. About a, a minute or two. I just want to heat it up. I want to cook that garlic a little bit. Let's get that fragrance coming out. I'll see you back here in about a minute. All right, that's simmering a little bit. So now I'm going to add in the uh, tomato sauce, pasta sauce. Throw that in there. And the tomato paste. So first, let's just give that a little mix. I get that. Combined. Mmm, this is getting a nice color from the chili powder. And then in goes the tomato paste. This is going to thicken things up lovely. All right, 
So now I'll just give that a good mix, get that all mixed together. I get the tomato paste kind of dissolved into the rest. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cook this, stirring it every once in a while. First I'm going to stir it quite a bit and then just stir it occasionally. I'm going to cook this for about five minutes. I just want to heat it up, get this well combined. It's going to thicken just a little bit more. It's already pretty thick, as you see. That's a pretty nice enchilada sauce. All right, see you back here in about five minutes. And then we're going to start getting the rest of the uh, burritos ready. All right, so that cooked for about five minutes. Nicely, look at that. Beautiful, thick enchilada sauce. What we're going to do now, I just want to heat up the chicken a little bit and the garlic. So I'm going to put about half the enchilada sauce into a fry pan or a large saucepan. Either one's good. That's about a little over half. Got a little carried away. All right, well, about there. All right, so it's about half in there. Um, throw in the chicken. And the garlic and the salt and pepper. Get a little stir in there. And what I'm going to do now is just bring that up to heat. Just going to warm this up for about five minutes or so. Medium, medium low. And just combine the chicken and the enchilada sauce and get all the, the garlic mixed out throughout there salt and pepper so basically just mixing everything well and at the same time heating it up all right see you back here in about five minutes all right that looks like it's uh warmed up the chicken nicely that's ready to go Turn that off. Now, what we've got, we've got our tortillas here. We've got our rice. We've got our cheese for afterwards. And we have this. So the rice and this chicken mixture are going into the tortillas. The rest of the uh, enchilada sauce on top along with the cheese. Actually, some of the cheese is going here too. About half the cheese is going to go inside and half the cheese on the outside. So what I'm going to do, I've got my big uh, 13 by uh, 9 dish, and I'm just going to start, basically I want to divide this into about 10, right? So it's, you always end up with uneven, it seems, but let's see, about like that there. So about that much chicken. So I just want to just get some of the chicken in here first, and then... The rice, so again, I try to divide it up into about tenths. So a little bit of rice across there. And we're going to use about half the cheese inside. So again, yeah, kind of like that. That should be about right. Roll it up and one goes in. Okay, just keep doing that until you got all of them done. All right, so we got all 10 uh, tortillas filled and jammed in here nicely. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna take the rest of this enchilada sauce and spread it across the top of the burritos. So, just get that all over the place here. Get Every little morsel of this tasty stuff. Mm -mm -mm. And then just spread it out into all the corners. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's have a little taste of that. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Very nice. If you 
you're not, uh, one of the nice things about this is if, if you, somebody in your family doesn't like overly spicy, you know, this is not spicy. A little bit of chili powder in there just gives it taste more than anything, so it's just perfect. Oh, the cheese, and there's lots and lots of cheese. <laughs> cheese lovers, yeah, this is the stuff. So now I'm just gonna take the rest of the cheese and spread it across the top. Just kind of even that out across there. Oh, that's looking pretty good. All right, that's gonna melt nicely into there. All right, I'm going to go in the oven over there at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius, about 20 to 25 minutes. What I want to do is I want to get that cheese melted and, and bubbling a little bit and heating up everything inside. You know, remember, we got to melt the cheese inside the, uh, the burritos too. So about 20, 25 minutes, and I'll see you then. All right, that has been just a little bit over 20 minutes in my oven. And you see cheese is melted, looking fantastic. That's going to be a fantastic burrito dinner. All right, if you like this burrito recipe and you'd like to see some more, well, this is just one of many original Kevin Riley Kuma's Kitchen recipes that you can find here on the channel. There's about three years worth of recipes on this channel. So go have a look around. Also make sure you subscribe because there's a new one coming out every Monday. And if you're not yet a patron of Kua's Kitchen, well consider becoming one because for as little as three dollars a month you can be supporting the creation of these video recipes, recipe videos, and they also get all the cool stuff that the uh, patrons get inside the Patreon feed. All right, now go and make these fantastic cheesy, cheesy burritos and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.